All right, y'all. Cold start. y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video now as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video we are back at it again with the draggy 6130 times man y'all already know trying to get Vader to go as fast as possible run as healthy as possible with this current setup that it has on the car right now and then We'll go ahead and turn that joint up once we feel like it's pretty much maxed out. Now, that being said, give me one second. Sorry about that, y'all. My pops called. Y'all already know how that goes, man. Definitely got to answer that. But like I was saying, so we're back at it again with the 6130 times, man. Back at it again with the draggy. We're actually picking up where we left off from Friday's upload when I took the car out to Mexico to go try to get some dig runs in and just to see, like, is it going to hook? Is it not going to hook? How the car is going to react and whatnot and try to see what kind of eighth and quarter mile times we could have pulled on the draggy. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and roll that intro and then we'll get straight into this banger. So let's get it. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ain't ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Alright, you guys, so like I said in the last video, if you guys did not see that video yet from Friday, make sure you go tune in. It will be on the screen at the end of today's video. So, that being said, y'all, basically, we ended up running a new PB in the quarter. Of course, it's the street, and of course, it's on a draggy, and the draggy is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's like two tenths off of what the actual quarter mile time would be. So the car went 11.5 on the draggy. So technically, that's an 11.3 at the actual drag strip. Plus, I did spin and I let off before the quarter mile even actually popped up. But all of that is in Friday's upload. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go tap in with that joint. But today's upload, we are actually hitting the freeway in Mexico on the way back to America. And we're going to be doing some 6130 hits. Now, I know what happened with these 6130 hits. You guys don't yet. So let's go ahead and roll them joints and then we'll talk about it. you guys so as y'all seen bro um we did the 6130 and i did have the l spicy sriracha tune on the car when i did the 6130s um if you guys haven't been in the loop with all the videos the car actually ran 6130 in the high eights 
um, on this tune. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and flash that joint on the car and we'll see what it does. So I did that and unfortunately, the car started having random misfires again. Um, unfortunately for us, um, you know, it's something that I just obviously can't beat right now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the spark plugs. I haven't changed the spark plugs on that car in about two years. The last time I changed the spark plugs was when I did the header install and we've been running E85 through that car. We've been having the car sit with E85, all kind of stuff, bro. And so that being said, you know, at the end of the day, running E85, E85 has a high level of zinc and zinc when it sits in your motor, sits in your car, sits in your fuel lines, stuff like that. Over time, it can start to deteriorate the materials that it's you know around so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna swap out the spark plugs as soon as i get back into the city and then we're gonna take the car out and see hopefully it does not do the misfiring ever again but if it does then obviously that's something that i'm gonna have to you know kind of dig deeper into my boy rk shout out to you bro he already told me what spark plugs to get which ones he personally runs on his cars and all of the six gens that come in and out of his shop so that being said we are going to be swapping to those on top of that i do have a very big surprise for you guys once i get back to the city so that's probably going to be next week's upload just trust me when i tell y'all this is something that we were supposed to do to this car a long time ago it's going to be extremely beneficial and it's also going to change the look of the car completely that's all i can say about what's to come because if i go into more details i'm going to end up spoiling it for you guys and then y'all are not going to watch the video or you're either going to watch the video and skip ahead so yeah man I, i'm gonna just leave it at that just trust 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 when i tell you this is something that we really really needed for the car once again man i do want to take the time to give a huge shout out to wild hammer motorsports they've been a sponsor of the channel for i want to say going on two maybe three years now ever since i got vader they were actually one of the first companies to sponsor the build and they've helped out with the build tremendously as far as the aesthetic goes as far as the performance goes they literally have everything if you've got a camaro or you've got a corvette make sure you guys go tap in with the homies over at wild hammer motorsports and use the code that pops up on the screen right here ji wild to save yourself some money at checkout because at the end of the day whether it's three dollars four dollars fifty dollars sixty dollars seventy dollars Money is money, you know what I'm saying? And if we can save it, we definitely want to save it. You know what I mean? So that being said, man, huge shout out to Wildhammer. Make sure you guys use their promo code. But as you guys can see, man, Vader, Vader was not happy with those 6130 times. Like, it was not happy at all when I was doing those pulls. Um, you can tell by the times, and you can also tell by like, how the car was running. Um, another thing that I'm pretty sure is playing, a, well, played a big role in the fact that the car did not do the 6130 times that we're used to is also the tires bro i did have the tire pressure all the way down to about 17 and a half pounds on the street i normally run those tires at about 20 pounds each um but i did take the pressure down just to try to see if we could hook because as you guys saw in the video i was spinning whether i launched it from an idle whether I launched it from 1500 RPMs and whether I launched it from 2000 RPM it didn't matter the car spun so I kept trying to lower the tire pressure to see if that was gonna help hook up and it didn't and unfortunately the cigarette lighter on my car is actually not working right now I don't know what happened but I guess it like blew a fuse but there isn't a fuse for the cigarette lighter so yeah that's why I haven't really delved into that but that's why it was still at 17 point 
All right, you guys, so the vlogging camera actually died on me and my batteries and chargers are in the car right now, but I got the little mamas with me and I'm the one watching her right now. So I'm not about to leave her in here and go down and get the charger or none of that. Um, so we're on the iPhone cam to close out this video. But like I was saying, man, once you get to the 50K mark and above, that's when you start to see, you know, cars start to have mechanical issues. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, we're just going to stay on top of the maintenance to make sure the car is running right. And we'll see how fast we can get it. Like I may or may not have said at the beginning of this video, I have a ton of parts waiting <laughs> at the crib right now to be installed on the car. So I got hella content coming to you guys. Just keep bearing with the kid. Keep subscribing. Keep turning on post notifications. Keep rocking with your boy because the content is about to get way better. We're about to start picking up and going back to the regular scheduled programming. This trip is almost over with. So once it's over with, we're right back at it like we never left at the track in Mexico getting some runs in, getting some rolls in, getting some digs in. I might go to a dig night. I might go to a roll night, stuff like that. So make sure you guys are staying tuned. But without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to that channel, man, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me see some of you guys' guesses. What do y'all think I got for the car? What's one of the parts that you think I got for the car? If you get it right, Next video, I might either A, give you a shout out or B, I might sell you some bread. I don't know. Drop your comment in the comment section down below and please do your boy a favor and hit the like button. Okay. Our likes haven't been too, you know what I'm saying? And the likes have low key been going downhill, man, ever since I came out here. So let's try to get them likes back up. Let's try to get 20 likes on this video. And if we get 20 likes on this video, I expose what I got for the car before I even get to the car. How about that? But without further ado, that's going to be it for this one. Like I told y'all, I did not bring the right laptop out here. So I don't have my outro nor my intro. So I'm just going to have to close the video here. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.